Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and today I want to show you an application I wrote called FileTile in order to validate the new storage volume detection APIs in Air 2. Um, what this application does is it just sort of sits there and waits for an event to, um, to indicate that a storage volume has been mounted and will react to that event. So I'll show you how it works. I'm plugging in a USB flash drive right now that has some pictures on it, and as soon as it detects that it's been mounted, then it goes ahead and browses the volume and shows little thumbnails, creates little thumbnails, and then you can do things like, you know, you can select them. Um, you can copy them to your clipboard, you can delete them, stuff like that. It'll work with any kind of file type. Um, it kind of works best with images, which is why I'm showing you, uh, showing you, uh, showing it to you with images because it shows you a nice little thumbnail, but you can, you know, preview them. You can also double click and it will open the file in whatever the, uh, the default application is that's associated with it on the operating system, in this case is Preview. And of course, uh, it will also react to when it's unmounted. So I'm just ejecting the volume here, which takes a moment, and there you go. You see that it's cleared everything away. Um, so the, uh, the storage volume APIs allow you to detect when volumes are mounted and unmounted. Um, it allows you to gather information about volumes such as the file system type, um, whether it's removable or not, whether it's writable or not, the drive letter, which is relevant on Windows, um, the drive label. Um, so you can see that, um, here, let me plug this in again. And I'll point out how the, the drive label should show up right here. So you see my pictures, it just mounted my pictures and it shows up, up at the top of the application. Um, so very nice uh, new APIs for um, integration with things like um, you know digital cameras or any kind of a device that is that exposes itself um, to the operating system as a storage volume. Um, there's a code sample in this uh, blog post. The uh, the code's very simple. Um, this project file tile is open source. There's a link to the uh, Google Code project um, in this blog post. So um, if you're curious, have a look. Thanks.